and in this uh, particular tutorial I'm going to show you how are we going to interface an LCD in Micro C Pro for Pic. So how are we gonna put some text here uh, on the graphical LCD and I will show you how you can shift the text on this particular LCD. First of all, I don't want to go in some heavy details how this particular LCD works. You can find uh, this, uh, you can, if you want, you can read it on the PIC microcontrol, Microcontrols Programming in C book, which I showed you in the intro of this course. And you can go to additional components, it's chapter 4.2. And you can read all about this. Uh, over here what uh, and what uh, every uh, uh, connection actually does I mean what is it used for uh, what are the memories what addresses you have to uh, write to the uh, to this uh, LCD ASCII code you can all read that in the book which I showed you in the intro. So for me, uh, the most uh, important thing is to show you how to connect it to the microcontroller. What pins do you use? And we will see the code. And it in the next videos, I won't uh, do anything. Um, I don't know uh, difficult with the graphical LCD. It's just going to show some, uh, you know. Uh, data for us. For example, when we uh, measure the voltage, I'm going to show you uh, the voltage on the LCD uh, display. Or uh, if I uh, want to make an alarm clock, I'm going to use it and write down the numbers on the LCD display. I don't want to go uh, use all uh, the stuff that it can actually do. In this course, not uh, that's not gonna happen. So let's go to the code. Now for uh, if you uh, Microelectronica made a library for the LCD display. Uh, if if you use a compiler that doesn't have any libraries, it is really diff. I mean, it is isn't that difficult to uh, interface, but it's uh, uh, you it. Uh, cost you a lot of time but microelectronica is a company that saves you time really uh, they do and if you go here click help you can go and sorry it my cpu is a little bit slower so you can go here and click micro c pro for pick libraries and here you have all the right libraries that microelectronica uh, gives to you gives in this compiler and uh, you can read all about uh, them if you click on them so let's go to the LCD library so here uh, here it says how you can connect the uh, the pins of the LCD on the microcontroller and here are the library to routines uh, used here so uh, LCD initialize uh, is a command that just uh, starts the LCD. LCD out is a command that is going to put text on the LCD. Uh, I'm gonna use this one LCD out CP. Uh, I, I, I can't remember what was it used for. Uh, prints text on LCD at current cursor position. Uh, so I'm not gonna use this one, but you can use it. LCD uh, CHR, uh, yeah, this uses uh, to print characters on the LCD at specified position. So yeah, I'm gonna use this, uh, not gonna use this one. LCD comment, yeah, probably. And uh, that's basically it. So there are a lot of uh, things you can also do. Uh, you can shift the text here are all the comments you need and yeah i in this project i used this code that microelectronica gave at uh, 
in their help depository. But instead of easy pick six, I wrote down easy pick five because I have that development system. So here is the code that I used and here is the microcontroller. And so here is the uh, basic connection of the LCD to the microcontroller. So this D4, D5, D6 and D7 lines, those are for writing data to the LCD in the 4-bit mode. I'm always going to use the 4-bit mode. D0, D1, D3, D2 and D3 are always grounded and read, write, so this RW is always grounded. I ne uh, if you ground read, right, that means the, uh, the LCD is always used to write to the uh, uh, LCD from the microcontroller. I never uh, found an example where something is read from the LCD in my uh, electronics career. And enabled and RE and RS are connected to the microcontroller. It isn't um, necessary to uh, connect it like this but my development system connected it connected uh, in this particular way uh, vdd so this is the power supply to the microcontroller it goes to the uh, vdd and vss that is grounded uh, grounded and the vee is used uh, to set the contrast of the LCD, but Proteus doesn't uh, really uh, show the contrast. Uh, only in real life you can see uh, when you, you uh, move the potentiometer, then the contrast over here is going to uh, change. So, uh, and I didn't put a crystal devices over here. I already said in Proteus, you don't need to do, do that you can uh, just give the processor clock frequency when you go to the properties of the microcontroller and when i uh, start a simulation first of all i have this text over here then i have microelectronica easy pick five and it's gonna shift left and right and that was the program so this is just to show you the connection I, so this is the connection. So this from D D zero to D three, it's all grounded, and RW is grounded. VSS is grounded. VDD is used for power supply. VE for contrast, and the rest of this go to the microcontroller from D four to D seven RS and E. So first of all, let's see the code. How does it go? Uh, so this is the so this is basically connecting the LCD pins to the microcontroller. If you want LCD RS to go to RB4, you have to write it like this, and after that you have to write it like this. I don't want to go in heavy details. Why is that? Why is that used? It's basically a library, so you don't have to worry about it. Why is this like that? If you want that this to go. Uh, RD4, you can do it. So if you want to go or RD0, RD3 in Proteus, you can change it. But uh, for me, I used it like this because my development system, EasyPick5, is already uh, connected like this. But you can, uh, for uh, if you want for practice, connect all this on everything, all this, I will leave the code down uh, on the D register. So this is basically just connecting uh, the LCDs to the uh, microcontroller. So that's it. Nothing spectacular as byte LCD RS direction. So this is, you can always use this like this. And it is always in 4-bit mode. I will always use it in 4-bit mode because in 8-bit mode you just have uh, four lines more. Uh, okay. Now here I have uh, characters with arrays. So uh this here is gonna uh text one is gonna read uh, write down microelectronica and you have to put it in uh qu quotation marks over here here and here you have to have quotation marks but you you don't have to write it like this i'll show you you can write it another way but you don't have to write it like this uh, it's just uh easier for, uh, for somebody to write it like this and then put it 
like text but you can uh, also use a uh, different method i'll show you okay and here i have a character i it is a loop variable that is done uh, i'll use this to uh, shift the text from right to left and that's it okay void move delay also this is just a function before the main function and it just uses to delay the just used to delay for a delay but also this was uh, necessary uh, here i had move delay but i can write it delay ms 500 over here so that is not really important okay so let's see the uh, connection over here now you don't have to you uh, write down tries b tries d or tries b as an output or as an uh, input it, it's already done over here when you did this so no need to write tries b is equal to zero tries d but uh, you have to uh, put configure all these pins as digital input and output and you can disable the compare compare uh, comparators uh, used in this uh, microcontroller but i think it, it would work without this comment we'll see later so that's pretty pretty basic stuff so uh, first of all, when you want to initialize uh, LCD, so when you want to start an LCD, you have to write this comment L LCD, the underline uh, initialize, and here you have brackets and finish with a semicolon. So this is the function that is gonna uh, start the LCD. Okay, so and this comment comments over here. Uh, first of all, it clears the LCD so it's gonna there's not gonna be anything uh, then you clear the cursor you, it won't have a cursor and then we're gonna write lcd out one point uh, on the so here lcd out it writes the text uh, and it writes text tree text tree was lcd four byte and it so let's see how this what this one represents one represents the first row and the six represents the column so when i start the program over here as you can see one represents the first col a row that is horizontally and column is the sixth uh, column i mean six represents the column where the first uh, letter is gonna be uh, written uh okay and lcd out to uh, uh, six that means that it is going to be the second row and the sixth uh column over here is going to be the first letter of the other word word and that is equal to and that is example so uh, i said you don't have to use char text or anything like this but you can write it like this so you have i'll copy this lcd4 byte with quotation marks and i'm gonna put it uh, instead of text tree so if you don't want to uh, specify uh, before the main program over here you can write it like this this represents the row this represents the column and this is the text so but you have to put the quotation marks over here so when i build the program okay i think it, it yeah and when i put it now the hex file you will see the program will the program will uh run the same as you can see lcd 4 bit is also here so there are you you don't have to specify the text before the main program you can write it over here like this but if you want to write only text you have to put these quotation marks i mean the quotation marks are put before also put over here so that is not very important and okay so this wrote the text now i have a delay of two seconds and then i clear the display so display goes blank and after that i have on the first row first column text one and text one says microelectronica and on the second row 
uh, and the fifth column I have text to and it says easy pick five so that is the development system so when I uh, write LCD out this is gonna uh, write down the text on the LCD, LCD so let's see how that works so this is for two seconds it clears first and then I have microelectronica and easy pick five now we have a delay of two seconds and then we have another situation now I have this for I is equal to zero to three I is uh, less than four I will have I plus plus I is gonna uh, you know uh, rise from zero to three now for uh that is equal to four shifts i have an lcd comment over here and it says lcd shift right so that is gonna be for how many move delay here is a function uh that is equal to delay uh, millis 500 milliseconds or 0 0.5 seconds but instead of move delay I'm gonna write delay MS so you will see that it was just a function I'm gonna write this now this is gonna be for two seconds I have uh, this text over here is gonna shift four positions on the right let me just show you one two three four yeah so it went four but as you can see the text over here went on the right side and it can go back also so you you can uh, if you want to know why is that how that how you you have uh, in the book uh, written all about this so when the shift goes right you can sh go I don't know how many positions but you can go also on the left as you can see I, I don't have MI over here but it went on the left okay so now you can know how to shift so I have LCD comment so this is a comment let's see in the library so this is a comment LCD comment sends comment to an LCD and these are the available LCD comments and we used first LCD shift on the right and uh, it shifted on the right four times with a delay with uh, every step uh, of 500 milliseconds now I had uh, another situation uh, here I have an endless loop and then it shifted on the left eight times then it shifts on the right uh, eight times so that is basically it and this code you can uh, download from the link in my description video so this is basically the most i will use for the lcd because it is not uh, I, I don't have to use all the comments and uh, yeah i didn't want to go to heavy details how this lcd works you can if you want you can read it it's a little bit complicated than it looks but i just wanted to show you the overall what do you have to do to initialize this lcd and that's it and uh, yeah pretty much uh, this is that is that that is that for this particular uh, video and thank you for watching and see you in my next video goodbye